Motors Building on Fifth Avenue in New York City. Today is Bastille Day, a holiday in France, marking the start of the French Revolution in 1789. So our chef on a shoestring has a French twist this morning, courtesy of Francois Payard, owner of Payard's Patisserie and Bistro here in New York. He's making a fantastic Bastille Day picnic for four on our budget of 40 bucks. Bonjour. Bonjour. How Bienvenue. Are you? I'm fine. How are you? Very good. 40, 40 dollars in New York is very difficult. But, but you pull it off. Tell us what you're cooking today. Today what we have, we have a very small bite, you know, we have a tomato eggplant tart. Alors, you see at the beginning we were starting to cook so the tomato. So let's go over each course first, so we see the menu. The tart is first, the main course is what? Uh, over here was a tomato eggplant tart. Mm -hmm. Over here we have a croque salmon. Okay. In place to be a croque monsieur with ham and cheese, we do salmon today. And, and we decided to have little cookies, you know, like a little apricot financier. Oh, I love your accent. Never mind the food. <laughs> okay, but we have to cook. So let's okay. begin with the petite tarts. Okay. Now this is, this is what it looks like uncooked. You buy this just in the grocery yeah, you store? Yeah, you can buy the puff pastry and we cut them like that. Okay. And we bake them between two sheet pan. Over here we have the tomato concasse. Tomato concasse. How do we, we make that? We may let him cook for approximately 30 minutes. What's in it? It's uh, onion, a little bit of garlic, you know, we have a little bit of ginger, mm -hmm. a little bit of lemon zest, cinnamon, and I may let it cook very slowly. Okay. But I have one already cooked. Now you put it, what's this, just a plastic bag? It's just a uh, tiny plastic bag, make my life easier, doesn't get dirty. So easy. Over here, you see we have eggplant. Alors, when the eggplant is too big, like this one, uh -huh. you can do your own if you want. Look, don't worry, you have two hands, easy to hands. Oh, okay. <laughs> don't be scared. Okay, so the tomato voilà. concasse is there. Now, this is the eggplant. This is Japanese eggplant. How is that different from other kinds of eggplant? Uh, they, are, they are much better for me because for the tart, first they feed the tart and they're less they meaty. They the tart and they're and less over, meaty. Over here on the top, what we have, we just have this mixture with a goat cheese and herb just for the first... Uh, for the first one, you see, you have a beautiful tart. Beautiful. And what kind of herbs do you use in there? We use parsley, a little bit of basil, and uh, you can eat the tart warm or you can eat the tart cold if you like. Okay. Now let's move to the... It's okay? Everything okay? Mm. Let's move to the croque monsieur. Let's Alors for the croque monsieur, you see now, we have... Croque monsieur is what you usually use ham and cheese for, correct? Exactly. Over here we have just whipped cream. Alors I'm using whipped cream. It's whipped very different cream. technique. I may mix the whipped cream with the Swiss cheese. Swiss cheese. Over here. Now what's different about this croque monsieur than the regular one? We well, normally we make a bechamel. Bechamel is a white sauce that everybody knows about. This seems much easier, chef. Much easier, much simpler. What is that, nutmeg? Nutmeg, salt, okay. pepper. Voila. Voila. You just have to mix everything. And mm -hmm. you have this very cons uh, gluey consistency. Now over here we have our bread. Yeah. Alors what we may white do, bread. just take a little bit of this mixture. Yeah. We may apply the mixture on the sandwich. Alors, not too much. Not too much. Because after it may run out, you know, during the baking time. And it's very filling, you know. Alors, yeah. more you make, more, it may make almost like a white sauce. It may make it very, very, very rich. But yeah. And instead of ham, which is traditionally used, you use salmon. Exactly. Oui? Over here, I have a piece of salmon. Alors, I may do a piece of salmon over here. I may do my second sandwich. Do you like smoked salmon, lox, nova? What do you like? I like the smoked salmon. You know, it's a, it's a good flavor to it. It's a little salty. That's the difference. You have to be salty. careful with the salt. Normally, I use butter, but I was trying to... Be healthy? Be healthy today. <laughs> Alors, I may do a little bit of pan. And what you do, just after plastic wrap into the oven, put a piece of cinnamon wrap, sorry, and wrap it tightly or it doesn't really matter? Just tightly like, and we okay. put it in the oven. What Over here, what we may do, we may, we may sear them on both sides just to give you the coloration. Wait, wait, wait a minute. You, you put this in the oven or no, you put this just like that? I may that? just take a little bit of oil on the pan. With the foil? Exactly. Because the foil allows the cooking and the bread may cook very slowly all the way through. And after that, we may You're bake them me. in the oven like we have. Look. Hello? Voilà. Let me voilà. And they're warm, be careful, they're very Can warm. Can we open? Okay. Voilà. So this is a croque salmon. And, the, oh, and you can see it's not, it's a real chili, it's warm. Look how beautiful. That's gorgeous, okay. Okay. There we go. 
But you don't want a cut for you? No. Uh. <laughs> okay. Let me cut for you, it'll be much easier. You say we can eat this cold as well, Chef? You can eat cold or you can eat warm. The great things about this sandwich, mm -hmm. you can freeze them in this package. And as you need, you can cook them, you know, and I think it's great for the... You can freeze them? Yeah, we can freeze them, you know, you can use salmon, you can use turkey, you can use ham, whatever you like. Beautiful, delicious. For dessert. Dessert. The dessert. You know, we are on tight budget and tight timing, too. <laughs> no, we're okay on time. Ah, okay. We can listen to you talk forever, trust <laughs> no. me. Over here, what we have, we have almond paste and the eggs. Okay, let's say what the ingredients are in the almond paste. Almond paste is a, is a almond paste, you know, it's a mixture of almond flour and sugar mm -hmm. that I already have over here. After that, I add Egg. already the eggs. Okay. Now, what you have to do, I just have to add the flour. Okay. Voila. And what, how do you make this little... Let me show you. Container. You just have to mix everything together. Now, oh, that's it. Everything is mixed. What you're getting, you're getting this beautiful batter. Mm -hmm. Then you can keep in the refrigerator for a week. Perfect. And uh, as you need, what you do, you just make your cookies. Hello. I use Hello. spam again. And what I do, I may just pipe. You want to make some? Sure. I like to have an assistant like that. Oh, my pleasure. <laughs> See, I, I can't even squeeze it right. Okay, and I may apply a little piece of apricot on the top. Beautiful. And how long do you cook this in the oven? Alors, we may cook them approximately for <laughs> 380 degrees. What's happening to you? Look, I'm not uh, a good assistant. No, it's okay. Don't worry. You look cute. It's okay. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's what matters. <laughs> Thank you, Steph. So let's bring our tasters in. Jeff, Here we go. We're tasting. What do you think? Did you like? I think it is uh, <laughs> ah, magnifique. Magnifique. Ah, magnifique. magnifique. But I just think you is cool. You should take the warm one. Oh, yes. Chef, uh, how, would, how would they maybe be the celebrating accent. in France right now, Bastille Day? Uh, Bastille Day is the 4th of July for you. Ah. You know, it's the same thing. So and uh, I think this is the biggest uh, day in the, on the street with the fireworks like you. Lots of fun. And tomorrow, I don't know if you know, we yeah. have a, we have a din special dinner at Paya mm -hmm. for the Bastille Day. But tomorrow will be a big street fair. Okay. And uh, pretty much all the French and American wow. restaurants be on the street. And it's fun. Nice. Oh, Let's see how you did yeah. on a budget. With our $40 budget, here's what he purchased for the this first course. Puff pastry, tomatoes, and onion, ginger, lemon, parsley, eggplant, goat cheese, and basil. The main course, smoked salmon. White sandwich bread, Gruyere cheese, heavy cream, Dijon mustard, mixed greens, and a lemon. And for dessert, almond paste, canned apricots. Grand total, $39.09. Did I get one dollar back? <laughs> 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 you get 81 cents back. Hey, it's like family <laughs> day around. Oh, my mom! Yay! Yay! Mom is here. Yay! You want to taste? Of course she does. Oh, that's good. Yeah, you got to get the warm stuff. Now you have to get the warm one. Chef, mom, mom, chef. Nice to meet you. Now you know what she can do on Sunday for you. Thank you very much. Sunday brunch. Thank you very much. Up next, Angelique Kijo in our second cup cafe. We'll be right back. What a surprise! This chef.